I'm at the Military Women's Memorial, located at the Ceremonial Gateway to Arlington National Cemetery. We are the only National Memorial dedicated to telling the stories of America's service women from all eras and all military services. We do this through both our world-class collection and the Register, an interactive database of military women, which houses approximately 300,000 stories of sacrifice, bravery, and service to our country. Today, we're taking a closer look at one of those stories. I'm retired Brigadier General Wilma Vaught, the first president of the Women in Military Service Memorial Foundation. Wilma Vaught joined the Air Force in 1957 as a second lieutenant because she was looking for leadership opportunities she wasn't finding in civilian life. When she joined, women were not allowed in combat. At the time, they received training on how to apply lipstick and get in and out of vehicles gracefully while wearing a skirt. There were also restrictions on the numbers of women who could serve and become officers. That did not stop Vought from excelling and breaking down barriers. She worked in finance, accounting, and budget analysis before the days of personal computers. She was the first woman to be deployed with an Air Force bomber unit, deploying with 3,000 men to Guam in support of a bombing campaign during the Vietnam War. In 1980, she became the first woman from any service to achieve the rank of Brigadier General from the Comptroller field. Vought's multi-decade career took her around the world, from Spain to Saigon, and along the way winning over those who did not want to work for a woman. Brigadier General Vaught retired in 1985, but her involvement with the military was far from over. A group of female veterans trying to build a memorial to honor the service of all women in the military asked her to be on the board of directors. The way Vaught tells the story, she missed a meeting, and the next thing she knew, she had been voted in as president. Vaught has dedicated her life since to the Military Women's Memorial. She selected the location and traveled across the country to raise money and awareness. On October 18, 1997, she opened the memorial in a dedication ceremony attended by over 30,000 women. Well, I was sitting on the dais, and one of the things I had planned was for the military to bring the flags of the states and territories down that aisle. I have talked to some of the people who were carrying those flags, and they said it was one of the most unforgettable moments of their life because people were reaching out and touching those flags. It meant so much to them. Shortly, the doors of your memorial will be open. Let's go down and cut the ribbon. There are so many memories of the dedication. Vought led the organization for about 30 years. Even at 91 years of age, she can frequently be found at the house that Wilma built. To learn more stories of women past and present who have served our nation, visit www.womensmemorial.org. Tune in for our next Her Story Spotlight.